Flora Duffy's name has to be put right up there amongst the giants who've ever raced at any format. Queen Flora, this woman's done just about everything. She just seems at the moment to not know how to lose. My whole life goal was to win at the Olympics and I did that last year. Anything that I do in my career from now is sort of icing on the cake. People will be like, well, what has she done lately? And you're like, um, the reigning Olympic and world champion. That's what I've done lately. I was born and raised in Bermuda. Uh, my parents, they moved here, um, I think like 40 years ago. So yeah, me and my brothers, this is where we call home. I was introduced to triathlon here in Bermuda. I did my first one when I was eight years old, the Iron Kids. From a pretty early age, knew I wanted to be a professional triathlete. In the 90s, there was a World Triathlon World Cup held here. so. I got to watch all the stars of the sport at the time race on my home streets, which was incredible and I suppose really planted the seed that it was possible to be a professional triathlete. Very lucky to have um, extremely supportive parents that helped me along the way and drove me to every swim practice and running race and triathlon training on a Saturday morning um, and a great community here in, in Bermuda that helped me along the way and uh, yeah, made that dream a reality. The only other medal Bermuda's won at the Olympics was in Montreal in 1976 in boxing. And so then you fast forward to the 20 now 2021 Tokyo Olympics and there I was as one of the medal favorites. Race day, it was complete, complete opposite of what we were expecting. It was supposed to be bright sunshine, blue skies, hot, humid, and then this tropical storm came by. Preparing for the most important race of your life and then everything just kind of flips on race morning. It's quite a lot to adjust to. It's a weird spot because you're lined up so all the other women are next to you as well at this point. And you all know that you're moments away from walking onto the pontoon and starting the Olympic Games. Everyone's been building up to this moment, and here it is. That's kind of when I always feel the most confident, oddly, and centered and ready. I had one of my closest training partners standing next to me on the pontoon who had spent the last eight weeks doing every session with me, Joanna Brown, she's racing for Canada. And that was one of the greatest things because I was like, I'm just standing next to my friend and we're just gonna start, dive in, and pull off the race of my life and win Bermuda's first ever gold medal. Um, then that's exactly what I did. From Bermuda, the Olympic gold medalist, Flora Duffy! My goal for this year was to do some different um, types and styles of racing. I've only actually ever done one um, sort of, I would say, longer course race, and that was in the beginning of 2020, which feels like a lifetime ago because that's pre-pandemic. The distance is not what I'm comfortable with, but the format of the racing is. It's new to, like, for me to be somewhere where I'm like uncomfortable with, uncomfortable and unsure of how the race will play out for me. The women's field is really strong. I've raced quite a few of the women 
at short course level. I raced her back when we were juniors, so it, we are pretty much the same age. It's amazing what, to see how she developed as an athlete. She had amazing races and then was also for a while, I think, struggling. So um, it's really impressive how she turned around and really brought up this amazing career. I mean, the last couple of years, she's just been absolutely brilliant. She improves her performance when it really counts. When the pressure is on, some, some people crack. Uh, Flora won't crack, so she's, she's very tough. Daniela is, she's the top girl, you know? She's got many, many 70.3 world titles, Ironman world titles, and has absolutely pushed the level. For me, I haven't proven myself over this distance at all. I've done one race, 170.3, and to be perfectly honest, it, was, it wasn't the best performance at all. So I think for myself, I have a lot to prove, and I think I have a lot to prove that I can race well at this distance. Okay, yes, I do kind of come in as the person that is the reigning Olympic world and Commonwealth champion. I guess my reputation precedes me a little bit. It's great to come in as someone that maybe can be perceived as a little bit intimidating or unknown or unsettle your competitors. Um, you know, it's quite a power position to come in with. Flora Duffy is one of the proudest women I've ever watched in the sport of triathlon and it's been over two decades of announcing her racing. When you take a look at her, she has no weakness. She will come out of the water in the first two or three athletes. She's lethal on the bike and we've watched her at the Olympic Games running away from the best women in the world. There is absolutely no weakness in her game. The biggest difference that I've found from short course to long course is spending time on the TT bike. I mean, it's so different and I think each athlete takes to it differently. I'm definitely going to have to spend another year or so riding it consistently, getting used to the position, getting my aero position more and more dialed, working on my fueling. It's like lots of little things that make a massive difference over the 100k distance. So continuing to dial that in um, will be, yeah, important for me if I want to be like really strong over this distance. Yeah, the plan for me, Paris is my big goal, but I would also love to, to jump into a 100K distance. This year has been great that I've been able to mix it up and do some of these 100K distance races and be out of my comfort zone and learn a new skill in triathlon. It's a much longer distance, so I think a bit of patience needs to be had some patience and smart racing to cross the line first.